Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. Last week we were talking about all the different ways that you can support local and why it's really important to support local. And we actually heard on the news about Woolfield Farmers Market and how they're expanding their business and also delivering fresh produce here to Halifax. So we thought we'd show you guys what that looks like and what our experience was when we used them. And they're one of the companies we were talking about last week that actually will allow you to basically place an order online and they'll do a pickup somewhere in the city and then you go and collect it from them and you that way you're still supporting local with sticking to the social distancing and the health Nova Scotia practices of you know not going anywhere you're not supposed to go so it's a good way you can support local and stay safe I'll be completely honest, I was actually blown away by the amount of products they have. They have eggs, they have meat, they do milk, they do chocolate Easter eggs and stuff like that for Easter, which was really cool because we bought some as a gift for our nephew. Um, they do apples, honey, jams, all the kind of stuff that we would normally get. So you place your order online, they'll send you a confirmation email just confirming your order and you know giving you instructions on where to pick up from and also kind of the protocol they have in place to allow you to do a safe pickup as well and um, which I gotta say was actually super smooth. So I just got our stuff which I'm going to show you right now what we got and um, there's lots of good selection the process of getting the food is actually pretty easy um, it is um, a little bit weird because obviously I've never had to do this before to get food um, but it's kind of the new norm now and it's you know it's uh, it's actually, to me, it's a rather convenient way of still being able to buy fresh produce, support local and help people. But at the same time, you know, when you're standing there covered in masks, everyone's, you know, six feet apart, it does feel a little bit like, wow, this is kind of not usual, but it's probably going to be the usual for a little bit. But as long as everyone can, you know, stay calm, look out for each other, um, you know, we will get through this. So it's kind of important that, you know, these guys are still providing this produce and people are still going and supporting them because you know, this is a fun, like Nova Scotia farmers are a fundal, ferment, fundamental part of our community and anything we can do to support them and anything they can do to support our businesses um, is incredibly important. Now for us, it wasn't like we did our full grocery shop there because for, we, were kind of, we were kind of in that grey area between not a big shop but we still needed some things and like I said, we were getting gifts for people as well. But we did get some delicious coffee which we haven't actually got into yet, even though we're going through coffee like crazy people. Uh, we got cream honey, which is something I grew up with as a kid. If you've never had cream honey, it's kind of like the peanut butter version of honey, where it's like thicker, it's almost like a thick kind of like, like almost like, like, like I said, like a peanut butter, and you can spread it on toast and stuff, and it's bomb. I would show you that, but I've already started eating it, so showing you half of the jar probably doesn't do me justice. Um, we got some delicious regular honey because we're kind of honey fiends in this house. And we got some lovely raspberry jam, which we're probably gonna use for either toast or that kind of stuff, but I'm thinking of putting it in the middle of a lemon sheet, lemon cake. Gina did not know I was gonna say that, but that's my plan. <laughs> We also got some delicious chocolate milk, which we have devoured. It is gone. And we, again, we got lots of apples because as you guys know, I'm an apple fiend. I know we could have gone to like a local big box store and got all this stuff here. And it might have been easier per se to do that. But then um, when we heard of all the amazing work that Warfield Farmers Market were doing and how they were having to employ more people because of their demand, from the service they're offering. We really wanted to support that. And again, by buying all this stuff through them, it means that that money is staying with them and it's staying in our province and it's not leaving the province, which is one of our main concerns right now is getting out and supporting local. So this way you can go through the process, order it online from the safety of your house, pick it up in person, following their quite stringent but safe protocols so that you can get your order and not be at risk, and then enjoy locally sourced products. Now there's lots of farmers markets in Halifax, like um, I think Sterling's might be doing some form of pickup and delivery, uh, the Halifax Brewery Market are doing pickup and delivery. So I would check in with a lot of the farmers markets that you normally go to and see what they have in place because a lot of businesses here are moving to either that 
delivery or pickup system. And it's still a great way for you to be able to shop locally, um, eat healthily, and get the products that you would normally get. Also, Square Roots are doing a similar option too. So, you know, if you're used to getting that um, 10 pounds of vegetables for $10, it's still a good way you can do that and remain safe. And if you, if this is something that you want to get behind, but maybe isn't feasible for you due to it being too expensive or you don't have the money for it right now, just share the stories and spread the word because, you know, it's it, it can be an expensive time right now, especially where people are losing jobs and there's a lot of uncertainty. But the more we can get out and share what our local businesses are doing, the easier it will be for people to find them. So thank you for watching this week's video. Um, like I say, it's really important we do get out and support local and I appreciate everybody that's reached out to me after last week's video and asked if they could share the video or use it to kind of support their businesses and that's the whole reason we made that video. So I was really flattered that a lot of people reached out to us about that. We hope that you guys are staying safe and we'll see you next week. Talk about that went so fast, it was like Gina's regretting her life decisions right now. Stuff they're doing in the community and um, they actually are i feel like i'm just repeating they are the army yeah. mm. when your order is how you collect it up um how you collect it up hard. why are you talking so hard i don't know babe. we've been inside too long i know